Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my garage. Yes, I know I haven't posted in a while, but uh, I can say I've been busy, but it's more like dealing with life stuff, you know, and other other stuff. Um, people ask me about the generator. Yeah, I still have that one and this two liter one that I have been using with a brand new RV. Yeah, that's what I got. I have been spending time on traveling around with the RV. And today I'm going to try and attempt to install a um, inverter and two, three batteries, uh, lithium batteries. And that is what I will be doing today. So you want to take a look, sit back, relax and enjoy. Okay, here we are with a 2024 Brinkley Z3100. Um, I'm gonna install a, a inverter. The inverter, um, I mean the RV comes with a inverter prep kit, so it's very easy to, to do it, at least uh, looks easy. So I'm gonna attempt to install that. And uh, I gotta remove the ba battery box and cover the battery box so I can put two lithium batteries on top. So let's try to do that. Okay, here is the battery box that we need to remove. Um, the base have to come out. Here, I already removed the, the um, wire loop. This is a cable, Come, I cut it, come together. And uh, you need to cut it to be able to connect this to the inverter. And then up here, you have the connectors that connect here to go back to the panel. But first we gotta remove all this and prep this to be able to put the batteries on top of this because as you see, there is only one battery here and I need to put, install two batteries for now and uh, it, they are not gonna fit in, inside the box, okay? As you see, I'm using SOK batteries, 206 amp. This is a for the price, this is the best battery, lithium battery that you can get 12 volt, okay? I did my research, uh, a lot of YouTube video from people who knows about it, and this is the best battery you can get for the price, okay? Okay, this box comes with uh, um, rivets. Then we need to take out those rivets to be able to remove the box. Well, the rivets still stuck in there. Um, I don't know if you can see it right there. You see, it's still stuck. I need to figure out something else. Let's see. Okay, here it is. I used uh, a thicker drill bit and apparently that works. So let's try the other ones. See if I can get this out of here. Try this one. Yeah, that works right there. Just kidding, Evo. 
For people curious about how big it is hole, um, let's see. It is I will say uh, let's see the water sink. It's fifteen inches and five eighth by 13 and a half, 13 and a half. Okay, so I bought this steel sheet, um, 18 by 20. So thinking that it's gonna overlap like two inches and I put the rivets at one inch, two inches from every each side, and I put the rivet one inch. Um, but I didn't count with there is welding points here, and it's like a a gap here, so it's gonna create a, a bigger separation. So I guess I have to. Hey, you can see it in the camera. I have to put it against the edge. It's gonna be like a inch and a half. And here I'm gonna have even more, probably like two and a half inches, um, which is fine. Um, let me see, probably something like that. And uh, I probably can use the same 316 holes from the old rivets because I have a uh, 316 rivets so it's gonna fit right in there this one I don't know what is this hole right here somebody start doing it have one here one here over here but really small but this one here fits perfectly so I probably can put those those there I just need to figure out where exactly I want this panel to be and I guess um, this have an edge here and have an edge here so I probably can put it against that edge and that's it at the bottom I have a gap I'm gonna show you now let me show you the, the gap at the bottom I have uh, this gap right here that I'm hoping when I put the rivets um, cover that hole and also I'm putting uh, a seal it's kind of like a like a caulking but it's a black caulking that RV use let me show you okay this is what I'm gonna use seal that gap and then I put the the rivets but on now for now I gotta mark the holes on the sheet from under like here here um, first to see what I want those holes and then put the rivets and then probably when I, ha I have a extra gap I probably will put an extra rivet right there to try to close it. Let's do that.
Okay, well, this one don't align. This one right here, um, don't align perfectly. So, tip. Make one, two, and then uh, the other ones probably from from the bottom up. Let's let's rivet this one first. And look at this. I missed this one for that little bit. Ah, I'm gonna try to fix it and see. I just want to use the same hole. If not, I may have to do a new one. But I like. It. I like that, that hole there in the corner, so let's try it. Try that one. That give me a little bit of room there. Yep, I got it. I got it. Now we gotta put the, the rivets. Okay, here are the um, rivets, the original holes. Now I gotta find these ones from the bottom and uh, drill it. Let's do that. Okay, here it is. Um, I used the same holes um, for the new rivets. One, two, three, four, five, six rivets. Um, I forgot to mention, this is a 16 gauge or 116 of an inch thickness. Also, when I bought this one, um, this one is uh, galvanized, you know, so it's very resistant to rust. I thought about painting it, but you know, I probably, if I paint it, I paint it later. Look under. Um, here are the rivets, and um, I have minimal, minimal gap. And like I said, I probably gonna seal this um, with the sealant that I have that I showed it before. But okay, there it is. There is the base. Um, for now, I'm gonna plan to put this piece of wood on top of that for now to give it a little more support and later on, uh, I don't know, I decide if I want to paint this or build something prettier than this. For now, that is the base. Um, I just remove this plastic box and uh, I'm gonna put the, the batteries I have one here, but I have another one that I gotta put here. So the next thing is up here. This is the wire prep kit um, that I need to install the 
inverter. So let's see. Okay, um, this is the inverter that I chose for now. It's a Power Max 3000 watts with a peak of 6000 watts. Also comes with a built-in um, transfer switch. If you don't get one with a built-in transfer switch, get a lot, a lot of more complicated. You have to rewire some things and uh, you have to have a, a transfer switch. So I picked this one for now. Um, I'm gonna try to install it up there. <sighs> okay. Um, I have been checking how I'm gonna locate this up here because I have to leave enough, enough space in the back to be able to connect this cable to the back of the inverter and then the connectors to these two connectors here. Um, like I said before, this comes one cable, a loop cable attached here. You remove it, you cut it, you strip the wires and these wires go in the back. The, the inverter have a input and output um, ports on the back. The out port is going to be the red and, uh, and the black, well, it's the other one, the input. Um, uh, doesn't matter because in reality, this is a loop uh, going back to the panel. And, but here you have, uh, this is marked with black and the other one should be with red just to let you know basically which connector goes with which connector over here. But I have been trying to figure out like how far forward so I can leave space on the back to connect this connector with this one on the back. And at the same time, these cables on the front are four, zero, are very stiff, you know, you know and hard to turn. And I don't have too much room, so, and I'm here by myself. So I need to figure out the perfect position for this inverter up here to be able to do this. Um, yeah, um, I'm gonna keep trying. Let's see what I can do. I gotta say, has been really hard to install this inverter up here by myself. I I'm trying to drill the holes, but you gotta hold the inverter at the same time and it's, uh, it's very challenging. So you better have somebody to help you or you gotta think smarter. So let's do that. Got it here, 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 here. Uh, let's try this, okay? Um, Thank you. 
Man! <laughs> ah, now I gotta drill this too. Good to go. Okay, uh, there it is. Um, the template for the screws work. Um, this is where the T-Fuse 300, 300 amp T-Fuse slow blow um, goes and uh, it was here so I have to move it over there. Came with this cover. I'm not gonna be able to put the cover back because as you see, it's, laying, it's gonna be in angle and this is made for a straight line. Um, but then I can connect it here and this one can connect it here to the negative. Now, I gotta start putting the, connecting those blocks to the back here with the, this cable ideally you want to do this first you know um because now maybe i i, I may have to take it down again but uh, i'm doing this by myself so um I, I i need to put it up first without without this to make it easier for me because if not this cable is gonna gonna be on the way while i'm trying to install this up up there so let me connect the cables okay hook up the cables now um i gotta put it up there again and see how i deal with these stiff cables they are 10 2 so are pretty stiff let's see okay there it is connected the cable now i gotta connect these plugs put it here with screws connect the t-fuse connect this two and oh, let me see how to turn this and uh that should be good to go so finger cross let's see how they, uh, that works okay ah okay everyone uh this was a, a project because i did it myself uh alone and uh uh it was kind of tricky but i got it here I got it up here, um, like I said, this battery, I have uh, four batteries, so I need to accommodate each battery here. I have some straps to strap it to the piece of wood. Um, I'm gonna put it in uh, parallel, and uh, yeah, I just tested the inverter and it's, it's working um we are back here with the brinkley model c3100 um the last video i removed the plastic um cover for the batteries and i i covered the hole with a metal sheet and um i need to create a base to install the four lithium batteries so here we are i have a few things to say about it at the beginning this is the base this is was my idea i was going to put this one here and i was going to put this one here and this one i was going to put it right here like to cover the front but as you know this is a weak point unless i put screws this way if i only put screws up um, from the bottom it's gonna be a weak point and also when you put this piece of wood on the floor over there inside the RV um, you have a little gap here so it's, it's it's not worth it so it's better if you put it like this one's here all around I'm gonna have another one that's gonna go right here like this you know flush and I'm gonna paint this black to make it look uh, prettier so I'm gonna do that right now I'm gonna install it over there so let's see how that goes Okay, here is the metal sheet that I was talking about. It's right there, not going anywhere. Here is the black piece of wood already painted. And as you see, I don't know if you can see it very clear on the camera, but there is a gap here on the bottom. Let me see, yeah, I got, I got a gap here on the bottom going down this way. So, when I put the screw from the bottom up to hold it there, keep it there in place, so don't roll this way. Um, I gotta use a longer screws here, probably two inches, 
to hold it there two inches here and then we'll keep it in there but here is the base that I built uh, with three quarter panel two by threes and um, I painted black I think uh, turn out really good now we gotta start putting the batteries here and uh, it's tight it's tight I can put the first one I can put the second one I can put the third one the fourth one you will see I, I have to get in uh, come up with an idea and put like a strap around so I can put it there because it's, it's exactly the size very tight tight so let's see okay so let me show you something these are SOK batteries 206 amp this battery comes with handles very useful this thing is 48 pound come with handles both sides I remove one from this side come with the screws so I can install them flush to each other like perfectly flush but you may want to leave one handle just in case you need to um, remove the battery you have something where to grab it because it's so heavy and don't have any grip anywhere so, okay so we're gonna put this one here first to see how it sits there you go now I gotta decide where I want it if I want it all the way to the end because this at the end have a little gap I don't know if you can see it here but around have a little gap. I don't know if I want it on top of the gap or if I roll, want to roll it a little bit. Let me see. There you go. And I want to flush with the back. That will be better probably. So it's like a, probably like an inch separation from the wall. But there you go. Now we got to put the second one, third one, fourth one and see how that sits, okay? Here is the second one, perfectly flush. There you go. Here is the third one. There you go. Remove these caps. And here is whew, the last one. I want to show you this. So I went to Lowe's and I got this this belt. It's a regular belt for tools. It was like seven dollars, you know. And a vocal clip here. This clip gotta go to the other side. So this, why I did this? Because like I said, it's so flush, you know, encapsulated here that uh, it's really hard to put the last one. But I gotta put this buckle in the other side so let me turn it around okay. okay so take a look now I can put it there perfectly straight down I have the handle I have this there you go um, if you don't have this you're probably gonna pinch one of your fingers here so you gotta be careful uh, dust dusty so here is all the four batteries perfectly encapsulated in the, the frame um, so you know you have an idea have my notes here let me tell you how it was where is uh oh here it is um the plywood is a let me see 24 by 28 and three quarters so the plywood is 24 by 28 and three quarters these pieces of wood around this i have two two different ones 
two are 21 inches and the other two are 23 inches and three quarters. So 21 inches, two and two, 23 and three quarters. And uh, that encapsulate everything perfectly here. Um, let me see, let me raise this a little bit so you can see me and see this. So now we gotta put the cables, we gotta put the bolts at the bottom to prevent it from moving, but this is pretty heavy, you know, this is, like I said, 48 pound each one, you round it to 50, you have easily here um, 200 pounds with a piece of wood, I don't know, probably 220, 225. Um, it, it's gonna be hard to make this move around, but you still wanna put screws from the bottom up to prevent it from roll, you know? And that's something that I'm gonna do soon. I just wanna see first how it sits here. It sits perfectly. Um, yeah, let's drill the holes. Okay, let's remove this. I know I went through the trouble of putting all this. I just put it here so you can see before um, I can start drilling the holes and everything. Uh, but I want you to see how to remove this very easy with leaving one handle. You have this and you lift it. That's it, you see? And after that, the other three are very easily, um, can be very easily removed. So that's why you need this handle right here. That's when we can put it. Okay, I already marked here with a pencil. I'm gonna drill. Let me look for the screws. Okay, here are the screws. I don't know, this is the best I found. Two inches self drilling um, or self tapping screws. This one comes with a, a little bit of like a washer with a rubber, so will be nice, will seal. Um, I already marked here with a pencil. Let's take this off. Right perfectly okay now I got the four holes that should be enough it's just to prevent the wood from rolling you know um, it's pretty heavy so I'm gonna put the piece of wood back and drill the screws up and then put the batteries back on connect the batteries and we'll be done let's go battery on to make some weight so it doesn't move when I install the, the screws Got it. 
take it out. I gotta put more weight on on the table, on the piece of wood because it's it's lifting the piece of wood. So I gotta add more weight. all the batteries and uh, I put one screw here one screw here another one here another one here four screws um, from the bottom up that should be enough to prevent uh, from roll um, like I said it's pretty heavy Woo! there you go remember leave one handle it's pretty helpful to move it around a belt help a lot and remember to remove the right side of uh, the right angle because I mean the, the, the right handle because as you see this one is out this one is out the one back here are out just the one in the middle are the ones that I remove and uh, let me see and now after I add that I gotta add something here like a bracket here, bracket here, so I can um, put a strap on it. And I just realized that I may have to remove the batteries again <laughs> because I forgot to put the bracket on the back. So that's why you're watching this video so you don't, you don't do the same mistake. At least all I have to remove are two batteries move this one back and put the two straps over there ah oh, you got to be kidding me here we go so these are the brackets that i forgot to install uh here we go let's see if i can open it it's a bracket like this and this go like this and then you have a strap that go up around and hold that in place so that's what I forgot to install here we go Okay, I just installed the brackets or hooks. Um, see it here. Let's see if I can focus over there. Over there, this is the other one. And another one behind this. And now I gotta get the straps for this. That sucks, I forgot about that, but I was able to put it there. So we're almost done. Uh, here we are. Uh, I have a little hiccup, like uh, you know, I forgot to put this first, but I got it in place. I got the strap in place, not going anywhere up. It's not rolling. Um, now we gotta connect the batteries in parallel. I have multiple cables to connect it. Um, you can connect these batteries parallel and series. Um, I believe you cannot connect more than four in series of these ones, but you can connect up to 10 in parallel. So parallel is, you start with this one right here, black to black, black to black, black to black, and you connect the black on the first battery, then red to red, red to red, red to red, and you connect the red on the last battery, and that will be parallel. And that's what I'm gonna do now, let's go. Okay, here is the connection. I have the, the black hook up to the black, the first battery that jump 
to the second battery, to the third battery, to the fourth battery. The same with the red, red, jump, first battery, second battery, third battery, fourth battery, go out from the first, go out from the last. And that's how you connect it in parallel. And uh, turn out pretty good. I think I got it. You have a little space here on the back. I don't know. Um, that's that's the space right there. You have all this space over here to still carry other stuff. Probably a portable generator go over there. My tools, etc. I have up there the Power Max um, inverter and uh whew, there it is um it was pretty easy to do it just take time a lot of little details and of course uh doing this by myself and uh never done it before so i i forgot a couple of things but this is this is um how it turned out and now we, I have 824 amp hours of uh, battery bank. So you have any question, let me know in the comments. If you have any suggestion, let me know in the comments. And I guess see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.